cryptocurrency, 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 changing how the world does business. Ask MLS system how to get in on this. Send money around the world, almost free. We don't need a bank's permission, you see. Tell your friends about MLS system. Here to raise our financial wisdom. Spreading like a wildfire all over the world Don't get left out, learn what it's all about From just pennies to thousands of dollars Bitcoin grew a worldwide currency Only a few knew well MLS system is making it happen Open your account and get tapped in Digital currency is an emerging technology A way to up your financial psychology it's money you can spend. Let it grow exponentially before you dip in. It's called cryptocurrency. 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 Changing how the world does business. Just make sure you get in on this. Sending money around the world almost free. We don't need a bank for a mission, you see. Tell your friends about MLS system. Here to raise our financial wisdom. Countries around the world are jumping in, creating ways to ride the trend. Business is lining up to accept Bitcoin. Soon every store will join. Call in. System to get your coins. Get in the mix, learn the tricks. Bitcoins are facing the dark. 20 to 1. Call in LS system to have some fun. Cryptocurrency, changing how the world does business. Yo, Jamie Diamond. Um... Other folks, you know, they, they, they called it scam. Oh, this is not going to go anywhere, so-and-so. And all of a sudden this year and, a, and, a, and toward, toward the end of last year, they was all coming in slowly but surely. They dumping in $100 million, $200 million. Um, Mass Music dumped in $50 million. Michael Saylor, he owns a company, billion dollars. He put a billion dollars down inside of uh, Bitcoin. A billion. Now, now you got, you know, Square and all these other things is happening, guys. You are definitely in the right place at the right time. I know a lot of companies say that you in the right place at the right time, right? But in this space, because you've been with us for a while and you're just getting started, this may be the first time you're hearing my voice. You are definitely in the right place at the right time for what we're doing. So we made some changes. Let's talk about C Note Friday. Now, C Note Friday. I started this last year for you to start having new ideas and telling yourself that you can do it. And if you follow my example, if you have followed my example, all those people you're seeing in the lines that's trying to get food, that's in the lines to get food, they needed a system like this. They needed this information. A lot of folks wish they had this information a year ago, two years ago, for what's going on right now inside of America. And it's sad because there's a lot of people that could be doing a lot better. They thought they was doing well, right? They, they did. They was, they was middle class. Folks was making $100,000, $200,000. They was making $300,000. And a lot of those people that was making even that big money, three hundred thousand dollars, but it took it took one major one major thing to happen, and the company had to slow down. The company had to lay off people, and so they had the boats, they had the nice cars and the houses. They still got them, but time is running out for them, right? Because the jobs not coming back. Um, a lot of things is 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 slowed down so desperately. So when I teach you about Paying yourself first, it's real stuff. Like getting up the, the $100 bills because um, we don't know where America is going. Who knew that we would go against America what we just saw recently last week, right? 
we don't know where America's going with the financial financial district, the financial industry. And so a lot of changes are being made. And just it's just a forewarning because what happened to Greece, what happened to Venezuela, they they captured people's money that was in the bank. And they said they got they got a law right now that says if the banks come and solve it, you can reach into those accounts and grab their money. Did you hear what I said? You can they can reach in to the to your bank members accounts and use their money to get back to solvency. What does that mean to you? You need to have some dollars set to the side, right? So that's what I'm telling you to keep $100 bills. Like, you know, you want to at least have $10,000. Highly recommend everybody show up, you know, show, show up. Matter of fact, we need to stop sharing, but if folks can show that you, you do have $10,000 or money coming in. So the folks holding up their $100 bills, right? It's not just having it on a Trezor. I, I don't care you got it on a Trezor. That don't help you, right? You got to start putting the money in your hands and you got to save that money. You got to save it and put it off to the side in case something happens. Guys, I'm telling you, you don't know what the banking system is going to do. So as you see Asada, as you see uh, my man Wilder and Richard Hall, and Miss Janice King and Sunshine down there and Tony Battle, Denise Silas. When you start seeing Cecilia Aiken, right? You start seeing these folks, Nic Nicolette Glover. You start seeing this money. This is real talk. People are getting the money and putting it to the side because that's the lesson of paying yourself first. Marlene Barnes, I see you, right? You got to start taking this money and putting it to the side because it's real, guys. I promise you. You don't wake up one day and they're going to say, you can't go get $1,000 out of the bank. There's going to be a line at the door that you cannot open the door. The bank is closed. And you're going to say, what's going on? Why well, can't get my money? Because they can shut the banks without, you, you're not going to know. You're going to go to the bank, think you're going to get some money, and it's going to be closed, right? Some of you may be experiencing that already. I went to Chase in my area. The bank was closed for a week, a week. Like, wait, what's going on with Chase? Why are they closed for a week, right? You know, and the ATM was closed too. You got to go to another ATM. So it was a computer issue, whatever. But you don't, the point that I'm making is you're going to wake up and you're not going to understand what happened. So you got to make sure you can put the money off to the side, right? It's, it's a good idea to keep paying yourself first the five, you know, the, 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 Hundred dollar bill weekly. I'm not saying five twenties. I'm not saying two fifties. I'm telling you a hundred dollar bill. It's a it's it's a a single bill that can do a lot more, right? So you want to get that hundred dollar bill. You want to build it up to at least ten thousand dollars, at least ten thousand. Put it to the side. Crypto is great. Your Trezors is awesome, but if you ain't got no electricity to get there, you need the dollar bills. Right. The same thing about the electrical network going out. You can't get the money. There's no there's no access, no Internet to get the money. You have to have the dollar bills in your pocket. You got it. Appreciate you guys for sharing that. Hopefully you taking my 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 guidance, making this happen. Let's talk about the good news now. Let's talk about some more good news that's happening right now. Appreciate all you guys. We got some brand new stats for you. Brand new stats. What are we talking about? In a year of. 2020, the year of 2020 from our existence to 2020, we have taken in and sent out to you, you, the members, 499.73 Bitcoin. Let me say that number again. 499.73 Bitcoin. How much is that in dollars as of today? 18 million. 497,341 dollars that went out to its community. That's you. That's all of you. 18 million. <laughs> what? Are we a small company? Yeah, we're still small, but are we growing? Absolutely. What do I see this year for 2021? Year in review, 
I see 50,000 people going to look for us. 50,000 people coming to MLS. Why? Here's the reason why. One is the education. Can't beat it. It's the best education probably out there in the marketplace today. Number two, it's going to be because we got two systems that's getting, that's the, that's the creme of the creme of the cryptocurrency space. Bitcoin for the MLS side and Ethereum that's going to be on a rotating hand side. That is the smart contracts is getting ready to come on board within the next two weeks. It will be live. We are going to smart contracts on rotating hands. Here's the next big thing we're going to start right now. Some of you probably already looked at this. You probably didn't notice it. But we went live about an hour and a half, two hours ago, that we are now a flat fee, a flat fee to sign up in MLS. Now, what does that mean? So let me explain to you because she's going to give you a presentation on it in a minute. So what does that mean? That means that when you go to join our level, because Bitcoin is going crazy, right? It's going to go to 50,000, 60,000, 70,000. We can't use 0 0.0167. Sorry, it's going to be $1,000 to sign up. It's getting crazy. So instead of me creating a brand new level, we change the levels, all the levels to a flat fee. So for example, it's 149 to sign up plus 250, right? Which means it's $399. No matter how far it goes, to get signed up is $399. One the, the 250 is what it takes for the starter level. Then it goes up to each level. You see it, it all combines. She's going to give you a presentation on that in a second. But that is the power of our club now. So now 50% of the starter level is 125. No matter how big Bitcoin is, you make $125 worth or $250 worth. And then it's going to go to $500, right? So you make $500 worth. Right, 225, 500, I mean 250, 500, and it's going to keep going up from there. So you'll see in a few seconds, a few minutes, because Asa's going to give you a presentation on it. This is the brand new where we are right now. So that means the reason why I say it's going to bring in the masses is because now people can see, you know what? I can go get $150 or $250 or $500 or whatever to get signed up. They got to get Bitcoin though. It's not dollars. We're not doing no, no, no dinero, no dollars, none. No dinero, okay? It's all crypto. So we got a Bitcoin side, which is strictly Bitcoin. And then we got rotating hands. It's strictly Ethereum. No more dollars over there either. No more dollars. So what does that mean? People is got to change their mindset. We got to move into the crypto space. Your training next week that's coming up. What's today? Friday, right? Your training next week. It's all going to be on how to take your crypto, never sell it, and still get the cash flow out as loans. Never sell your crypto. You will not, sell, you don't need BitPay. BitPay means you got to sell it, right? I need to get $1,000 or $500. Don't sell your Bitcoin. That is gold. I'm telling you guys right now. That, that the new change in this space, from the billionaire standpoint, they don't look at it as selling their Bitcoin. They look at it as hollowing it, holding it. It's called a huddle or hodl. They holding it like they hold gold. So what does that mean to you? Don't care how low it goes, how high it goes, your mindset is, I'm not selling it. I can rent it out and get the money for it, but I'm not going to sell it. You understand me? So we're going to teach you how to lend, use your Bitcoin, lend it out from a, from a, 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 a usable company. I already pulled out $250,000 $250, just on a test. I have seen companies bring out a million dollars in crypto and cash flow and then pay it back and get the bitcoin right back that's what you want you never want to sell it you just want to use it for loaning it get the money and then go ahead and put it and when you pay off the loan you put it back in how do you pay off the loan you're going to be able to get other cryptos small other cryptos like other ones we're going to talk about that as part of your training right 
So we're going to use things like Stellar, um, Algon, maybe USDT, USDC, some stable coins, some other type of coins. We're going we're to teach you all about that. But you do not sell ever in your, in your life again. Do not sell your Bitcoin. Everybody understand that? Do not sell it. Do not sell your Bitcoin. Please, I'm begging you, don't sell it. All right? So that's, that's me coming to you. I'm coming back for you, right? I'm always coming back for you. So don't do, don't do that. Let's go ahead and get rich together. So what's the last thing I'm going to say before I turn it over to Asada? I see you as millionaires. I truly see you as millionaires. There's no reason. You know, when I first got started in Bitcoin, it was $486, right? $486. We now close to 30, what is it, 36,000 right now? 35,000 some change right now. Uh, let's just see. One whole Bitcoin is, I'm doing a live live thing, 37,014. So $37,000. Now think about this now. So when you think about wealth, if you work for somebody, it's hard to make this kind of money. It's hard. I mean, I'm just telling you, you got to do so many hours. You got to do so much because your dollar's not growing. But when you have Bitcoin, when you have Bitcoin, your life is growing faster. And when you got certain coins, as Bitcoin is going up, those other coins, they call altcoins, a lot of those coins are going up tremendously. Trem One coin was other day was only 20 cents, went to 74 cents. One coin was $2.50, went already to five and six dollars so those other coins are making a lot of money as well not just with bitcoin so you're going to have the opportunity to take a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars and put it in some other coins and grow that faster with bitcoin you got it and those are the coins that you're going to use to pay off stuff right i want to i want to go get this or whatever or pay off your loans with it right so for example you, you get a loan for um, $20,000 or $50,000 or whatever, right? You may get a loan with your good credit. We're going to talk about all this. There's a lot of stuff you're going to be doing, guys. You got, you got a good credit. You're going, to get some, you're going to get a loan off your good credit. So you get a loan off your good credit. You buy some crypto with it. You, you, the crypto you buy with it, you purchase a little bit of Bitcoin. You buy some other altcoins with it. And then as the coins go up in value, you take those small coins and you trade those coins back in for dollars. And you pay off your loans, get your Bitcoin back, pay off the pay off the other stuff, and just keep doing that. And just and before you know it, you are expediting. You are you are taking your your cash flow and you putting your cash flow on steroids because you now can take loans, accelerate it into the crypto space, and then take the money right back out and pay off the loan and and get everything else. Before you know it, they're gonna be sending you checks like they send me. Hey, you got a check for twenty five thousand. I mean, you can write a check up for twenty five thousand dollars. You tell us how long you want to pay for it, right? All those checks that I that I had gotten is already paid off, right? An extra twenty five thousand, an extra fifty thousand dollars. It's already paid off, right? Everything around you is free when you in this club. This one. I don't buy the clubs. I don't care about them. And this club, if you work this system in this club. You, everything around you is free. Your cars, your motorcycles, your houses. Can you imagine paying off your house in a year? Not seven. We got to think about seven years. How about paying it off in a year? One year paying off your house. $300,000, $400,000 paid off. What? You couldn't do that with a regular job, but now you can do it because you're in this space. It is the biggest transformation of wealth in history. Asada? Turn it back over to you. Go ahead and share them the good, share them the good news. <laughs> you caught me off guard all like this. So yeah, let me get it. All right, y'all. That's let's let's give it up for Wall Street making that change for us, baby. Making it that that look, that's when you know somebody's for the people. You understand me? Making it so that we can afford it, taking us from welfare to millionaire. Thank you very much. So let me share my screen back, you lovely people. And then if um Wall Street can if you could switch the host back to my girl that'd be great so that we can um you you, admit you, all could. The people. you should be no, good the, pe the people that are need to be admitted i don't want to um oh I well, okay i got you i got you yeah okay. all right 
All right, guys, so we are going to get it rolling up in here. Thank you for being here tonight. Y'all coming out. The masses are coming out tonight, and I'm going to make sure that we are clear about everything being brought to the table. So who is this girl, Asada? Who is she, right? I was born in New York. You hear the accent? I know. And I live in Chicago now, which I love dearly. I am the founder of the Soulful Chicago Book Fair. It's big. We got to promote our writers, right? I'm an author as well. I'm an entrepreneur for like 30 plus years. It's just in the blood, y'all. Just got to make money myself, just in the, in the genes, right? And I've been in cryptocurrency for three years. And I'm going to tell you right now, listen up. Everything I know about crypto, I learned in this club, period. No one else gets the props but this club, and that's very real, all right? So I've been here since 2017, and somebody said I made six figures, whatever, whatever. I don't really promote that, guys, until you making six figures, too. That's just how I am, the real deal, all right? Now, let's get the disclaimer done, all right? We are not licensed financial advisors here, and we do not give financial advice, all right? The presentation that you're going to see is for illustration purposes and educational purposes because you can make better decisions about your money when you know about your money, okay? Now, this presentation that you're going to see tonight is not given to substitute what you learn from your tax person or, you know, your financial advisor, right? But we also want you to overstand, you're going to hear me say overstand, okay, that cryptocurrency prices can and do fluctuate greatly on any given day. And due to those price, watch what I say after this, due to those price fluctuations, the user's cryptographic assets may be subject to large swings. Guess what, y'all? It ain't swinging no more because we got a flat rate that we pay. Boo, boo, boo. So that's a wonderful thing. We don't have to be like, oh, gosh, it's too expensive, okay? And, guys, there are no refunds from the club. It, the transactions are member to member. And what that means, guys, is that the club don't have the money. What you want to refund from the ghost? The money's not here. We give the money to each other, and that's why you want to be a member. Okay? Now, you are here experiencing. You got, you're involved in the MLS experience. Okay? And that means I'm going to tell you who we are. We're going to look at the five pillars of wealth because we don't just do one thing here regarding money. Okay? We're going to look at what we offer. We're going to really get a good look at the MLS University. Why Bitcoin? Like, why, right? We're going to look at that. You're going to hear how to acquire free Bitcoin here, as well as learning how to get started. All right? Now, let me tell you how we roll. Okay? The MLS Bitcoin Club, right? That stands for Massive Leverage System. Some people hear MLS. They think MLM. No, that stands for Multi-Level Marketing. That's Good, that's a business model that you could have, right? But no, we the MLS Bitcoin Club, breaking the chains of financial scarcity. I even like when Wall Street say breaking the chains of financial slavery, because <laughs> you already know how that has been, right? We breaking those chains. Now, who are we as a club? I think that's very important for people to know. Now, we are a membership club that's been operating and serving members since 2014. Okay, we know, baby, we growing up around here, okay? And we operate globally with our corporate office in Atlanta, Georgia. Now, what's our mission? Is to create a self-managed system for members to accumulate Bitcoins for free while growing your financial knowledge to elevate you and your family to a better lifestyle. And I'm going to tell you right now, oh, I've definitely been ele elevated to a better lifestyle as a single mom because I came to Chicago with an EBT car too, baby, swiping it to get that food. But now I just shop and get what I want. I ain't got to limit it to nothing because this club gave me that reality, okay? Now, who is the brother that we just saw, my man, Wall Street? If you don't know him, you're going to learn a little bit now. Um, he is a phenomenal leader in that the skills he brings to the table is bar none. Number one, he's a computer engineer, okay? And that means, oh, we learn about our business here just by pressing a button. It means you press a button and you learn your statistics. You learn who you're working with. You see how much money you made all because he's a computer engineer and he's a master trader. Look, I say financial guru. 
because it goes beyond trading here, which you'll learn in a little bit. But I also love that he says, you heard me say it before, he's going to take us from welfare to millionaire, okay? And we love showing that he was in the military. Why? Because it takes skills to be a sergeant working with people. So the skills didn't just start when MLS Bitcoin started. It started when he was just a young lad in the military. So he said, if you walk with me, I will make you a millionaire. He said, don't run. We're not running. Just walk with him and learn the techniques. All right. Now, in this club, we are cash flowing daily. What you want me to do? Repeat. We are cash flowing daily, okay? And as a team, we grow as one. And, and Wall Street has said time and time again, when you understand cash flow, it flows to the people who are looking for it, looking for the cash flow. We've been taught a lot of things. Money is the root of all evil and all kind of stuff. No, cash flow is normal, okay? And he said, if you aren't looking, you won't find it. The MLS Bitcoin Club is only for the people who are looking for it, all right? Thank you, Wall Street. Words of wisdom, that's what we're talking about. Now, one of the things we learn are about the five pillars of wealth, not just make crypto, make crypto, make crypto, no. We're also looking at the fact that you make wealth in different areas. So number one, learning how to create cash flow. I'm telling y'all right now, I hear more people talking about how broke they are. They broke. We don't want bro. We fixing it up in here. Okay. Now that creating cash flow, mark my word, it feels amazing when you know money is, keeps being made as you go on with your day. So cash flow is one of the pillars of wealth that we learn to handle creating it. Right. Then we look into acquiring precious metals, gold, and all that. That is dope. Now it's good. It used it was the wealth wealth of the past, but Bitcoin is gold 2.0. OK, and so we look at all of the means of acquiring wealth with regards to precious metals and what we're talking about with our crypto. Now, infinite banking before this club, I don't know what that was. I don't even know what you're talking about. But infinite banking helps to overstand, help you understand how to use your insurance policy as a bank. Who knew those tricks of the rich? We learn them here as well. And then learning to trade. This is a wonderful time to learn how to trade because of what's happening with Bitcoin. And if you're in this club and getting up to level six, come on, come join me. I'm in level six. You'll learn to trade different things, not just crypto, currencies, all of the things in the crypto arena and in the trading arena, we learn from this club, all right? And then acquiring real estate. That is the fifth pillar of wealth the way a way to make it so that you're making larger sums and not the little you know pennies we get when we are working a job all right now oh lo and behold are we just about learning about crypto and getting money that's a part of us but there's also the mls university all right an online financial education course and so what are we going to be learning in the mls university number one new member onboarding. If you join this club already, you already know that the beginning process is like, it could be like, what am I doing? This is me pulling my hair out, pulling my hair wrap off. Oh God. So we're going to have some training on how to come in smoothly. Then we're going to be looking at 10 levels of education, which I'll share with you in a minute. Professional development, because we do need that. Every corporation, school needs professional development. So our skills stay sharp. Private coaching sessions are going to be a part of that and social media training. I'm big on that because people say, I can't find anybody to come to the club with me. Hey, 7.8 million people in the world, guys. But we just got to learn how to talk in a different way. Social media is that way to talk to millions of people at one time. OK, so my man Wall Street said, let's get rid of the scarcity mindset. He said, I'm trying to get you to the other side of money. I'm going to tell you the other side of money feels wonderful because it takes a lot of stress off when you don't have to worry about how you're going to live because cash flow is being made in this club. All right. So let's look at MLS University and what it has to offer. OK, this MLS experience is no joke. There are 10 levels to financial education. I want you all to say this to yourself. 
10 levels, right? Because I'm going to bring it up again in a different context. So number one is our starter level in the Bitcoin club. And that is crypto 101 and 102, meaning you are going to learn, go click a button. Like I said, what's in the back office at the starter level, the information to teach you anything about crypto including your wallets and what have you okay then you can go ahead up to level one and that's extreme credit that means no you're not only learning how to get your credit to an 800 score a 900 score we are talking about well what's your credit spending though Wall Street said if it's not a hundred thousand dollars or more you got a lot of work to do all right then there's level two which is intro to business um, if you don't have a business Wall Street said get one and shows you the steps on how to get one and ooh, it's done in a way that doesn't cost a lot of money. So that's level two in the university. Level three, business credit. Now, me growing up, you know about personal credit and you worry about your credit score. But when you do get that business, it has its own credit. And so we learn about how to get good business credit so you can open up the doors to more money to your company. Ooh, level four, this is important. Hercules, Hercules, look, solo 401ks. Now, retirement plans usually come with jobs and people have them and Wall Street said, uh, these days, 401ks are looking more like 201ks, okay? We don't want that. And if you're an entrepreneur or an artist, nine times out of 10, you don't have a, a plan like that. But with a solo 401k, you have a retirement plan and you borrow from yourself. Tricks of the rich, right? Then there's level five, ALOCs and HELOCs. If you have a house, do you want to pay your mortgage on it? You want to pay it? I mean, you got to pay, but do you want to? Well, if you get a HELOC on your home, a home equity loan, now you're talking about not having a mortgage on your home anymore because you got a HELOC. Get to level five and you'll learn more about that. Level six is intro to trading. Wall Street helping us understand how trading works and being able to do it as another stream of income for ourselves. Then you got infinite banking again. There it is. Learning how to use your insurance as a bank. And level eight, learning about offshore accounts. All I knew about offshore accounts was in the movies. You just see rich people in the movies, right? But no, how about us now having accounts in other countries? And lastly, venture capitalism. Oh, what that means, guy? Angel investing. Angel investing. That's when we have so much cash flow that we can now support our own programs because we have our own money. So loving level nine, feeling fine. Remember that 10 levels is going to come up again, all right? Now, what we do here is we just learn to be our own bank. We're not, it's not in the hands of people. Didn't you hear Wall Street just talk about how the banks are being given permission to just take people money? Oh no, money, my money ain't growing in the savings account. It just doesn't. But in Bitcoin, it grows a lot in a very short amount of time. Now, one of the things I love about this club is that Wall Street is very transparent about what he is showing us that he does, right? He's not sitting here like a professor, but he's showing being transparent. These are his statistics. So what, look at this. Learn how to obtain extreme personal and business credit. So when he said you don't have, what's your credit limit? See that $114,000? Yes, let's get that in our credit. He shows you how to really work it so that you benefit from it and not just in credit debt, right? Now, be your own bank via a life insurance policy. I just talked about that. This is his life insurance policy. And look at it. Look what the death benefit is for his family, but he teaches you how to work this. So he said, it's called life insurance. So you should be benefiting while you're living, not just when you die. Okay. So we learn all about that as well. And then trading. Look, look at this here. Look, I don't even understand all the trading all the time, but all I do understand right now is where it's a profit, $45,000 profit. So yes, learn how to trade so you can get that reality. All right. And now that's my that's my friend right there. Uh, welcome to your bank. Look, I got mine right here. He said, look, look at that. There go my girl right there. See that trade off? This holds billions of dollars. So you have a, a, a bank in your house. 
It's a device that holds billions of dollars worth of crypto. And it's very, very safe because you own your own codes and it's offline. You don't have to worry about somebody hacking it. That doesn't happen. In this world, you got a Trezor. So we're taught, put your big money on a Trezor and, you know, keep a few thousand, two or three thousand on your regular wallet on your phone. Okay. Big Willie style. Now, Bitcoin is the biggest secret on the internet, guys. But it ain't a secret to these people. Now, Oprah made 500 million in Bitcoin in 2019. Hmm, what happened? Yes, these are some wealthy people we've seen that have seen the Bitcoin light, all right? Now, this is very interesting. Check this out. In 2017, you had like JP Morgan talking about, oh, oh, cryptocurrency is only fit for use by drug dealers, murderers, and people in North Korea. How dare he, right? But look at 2020. Oh, how time changes. JP Morgan extends banking services to Bitcoin exchanges. Oh, hello there. You coming over, JP Morgan? That's right. It's expanding, right? Now, look at what Forbes had to say. They said Bitcoin could hit 300,000 in five years, even without institutional adoption. What that means, guys, Bitcoin is going up so high right now because of institutions that are now buying into Bitcoin, right? But what he's saying is that even without that, Bitcoin can reach 300,000 in the next five years. I think it's going to be before that because it's going towards 50,000 now. And it ain't even been a whole year. It's not even been a whole month of the new year. So take heed and get involved. Now, look at this. PayPal's new service is a 50 billion stimulus check for Bitcoin. You know why, guys? Because you can now buy Bitcoin in PayPal. Only thing, guys, is if you buy Bitcoin in PayPal, it's going to sit there looking at you because you can't do nothing with it outside of PayPal. So they're not ready yet. They ain't ready for this yet. So, all right, PayPal, we glad you hit them. And then Square, all right, Square. That's they they combine with Cash App, and now it says Square Inc. invests fifty million in Bitcoin. So we buy our Bitcoin from Square big time. So you see how the companies are coming to the table. Now you need to be able to buy Bitcoin, right? There are a number of ways to buy it through Cash App, through something called Liberty X, which is what this is showing. So Seven Eleven, CVS's, Rite Aids. These people, literally, you can download the Liberty X app and then put in your zip code and it'll show you the store closest to you that sells Bitcoin. They have Bitcoin ATMs and everything for you to buy your Bitcoin, okay? Now, this process where businesses start accepting Bitcoin is called adoption. And so even if you have a company, you watching this right now, if you have a company and you start accepting Bitcoin, guess what? One, you're going to increase your market to a global audience because anybody can um, spend Bitcoin around the world. But if I give you $100 worth of Bitcoin right now, do you know that tomorrow after the transaction, it could go up to $150, $175? That's called adoption where you start accepting Bitcoin for your products or services. And it works wonderfully because you're making money even after the transaction happens. Okay. Now, Buy with Bitcoin. You think this is real? Some people go, Bitcoin, what can you do with it? Um, hello, I buy my groceries with Bitcoin. I pay my bills with Bitcoin. And you see this picture? These people done bought their houses with Bitcoin. You can buy real estate. You can buy airline tickets. But not that you want to keep spending it, but you need to understand it as a medium of exchange. You don't have to worry about cash anymore. Ain't nobody going to steal it from you. They can't even get it because it's safely in your wallet, okay? Look at these people here. Look at here. Look at here. These, look, the first guy is the guy, he, what to say? He's the first person to buy a Bentley with Bitcoin, right? But then look at the other lovely people. They done bought these members of the club, including the CEO right there on his hall on that motorcycle. They bought their vehicles with Bitcoin as well, okay? So why now? Why would you want to even have Bitcoin in your life? You know why, guys? Because you still have financial responsibilities. I don't care if COVID came here or not. You got tithes that you got to pay, mortgages and rents, car notes to pay for, insurance payments, loans, food, emergency cash, cell phone. Like there are bills. 
offering the bill. I'm just a bill. Yes, I'm only a bill, but not that type. We want, the, we talking about the bills that you got to pay some money, right? So if you have Bitcoin, you can do like I do. Hey, I switch that Bitcoin over to my the debit card that's connected to the wallet, and then I'll pay the bills that I need. So it is important because look at the pandemic. Didn't they snatch some jobs away? And then they gave us stimulus checks for like $1,200 and $1,700. What you buying with that? Potato chips? Or they're going to show ain't paying no rent, right? So you need a cash flow source so that when things like that happen, you are covered. And that is what Bitcoin does. Look at that college down there. I'm definitely going to be paying for my daughter's college degree in Bitcoin, okay? Now, I just want you to think about what some of your own goals are. What are your own goals? What are the things you're trying to achieve? It could be a lot of things, your own projects, programs, yeah? But you want to be able to pay for it yourself and not have to feel like you can't achieve the dream because you're trying to get a loan or you're trying to write a grant and you spent all your time writing the grant or the loan and then they don't give it to you. End that and start to make your own cash flow to take care of your own needs. Now, how do we make Bitcoin? I'm just going to show you this as we come to a close because that's important. We make Bitcoin here and a lot of it. Did you hear that statistic? 400 million since the club's inception going out to us? Yo, I'm in that number somewhere, right? So this is how we do it, though. This is how we circulate the money. So the first and foremost thing I want you to see is that there are no monthly fees that you have to worry about. There are other companies out there that say, oh, will you sell my lipstick or sell whatever they sell, right? And let's say it's a rough month and you don't have the money, you, you didn't make money. They don't care about that. You're going to pay that monthly fee though. That's what you're going to do, but we don't have that, okay? Now, like Wall Street said, to start this club today and forever, I don't know about forever, it might even get better later, who knows, but you pay $149 plus $250. So when somebody comes into the club, it's $250 now plus $149 annual fee, okay? That's $399 to join, no matter what. Now, when you do that, I'm gonna use this um, analogy of a house because you know what it's like when people pay rent for a house or pay rent for an apartment, right? So good, you pay that fee, $149 plus $250, and you have your house. You're the landlord of the house, okay? When you get somebody to... Go ahead and live in your house, right? Come into the club. You're going to get 50% of the Bitcoin that they paid to come in, okay? So that's 50% of the 250. Perfect, right? And guess what you're going to get? $49 of the fee, all right? I think that still stands, but we're going to say it in this anyway. Now, when you do the next apartment or the next window in your house, it happens again. 50% of the Bitcoin going to you. And 50% just, you know, going to the other members of the club. But you're getting 50% plus the $49 as part of the fee. Now, take a look. There is a bottom row to this house. When other people come, and let me say this to you. Sometimes people come into that bottom row because you brought them. If you brought them, because some of y'all know church members, schoolmates, co-workers, that can easily come and join this club. Well, if you brought them to the club, guess what? You're going to get 100% of the Bitcoin they brought to the table, which is that $250, right? But if you didn't bring them, guess what? You still are going to get 50% and you're going to get 50% to the people who brought them in. So you're making money no matter what, as long as a person falls on that bottom row. And guess what? You're going to get 100% if they are your personal, like I mentioned, and 50% if you didn't bring them, all right? Once this whole house fills up, and mind you, see that top two people and the bottom four? Well, in the fourth position, it's a little different. When the Bitcoin comes in, the club doesn't say, here, take it, like they did just before. What they do is take the money and start you a whole new house so that you can make money again and again, and again, and the same people that are in this structure, they pay you and follow you to the next home. It's a, it's like a no-brainer. Like you, we keep getting paid off of each other over and over again. And so, guys, you are making, like, if, if you don't bring anybody, you are at least going to make 150% of what you brought to the table because of the folks who fell on the bottom floor. But if you brought everybody, like, 
you like, look, they call me the Harriet Tubman of crypto. Mm -hmm. I'm bringing everybody, freeing everybody, right? Yeah, if I fill up the whole house, then I'm getting 400% of the money that I brought to the table, okay? And in the Bitcoin club, if you are free right now, like if you're not a member, go get a free membership now. If somebody comes through you, guess what happens? You still get 10% even if you aren't paid yet. So thank you, Wall Street. We love you for that, all right? Now, remember I talked about the 10 levels earlier where you learned the information? Guess what? You're going to make money on those levels too. That's the beautiful thing about this space. So let me show you how that's done. So we all come in the starter level. You see that? You pay 250, but if you fill up them houses, you can leave with 750 and you only put up 250. Well, guess what you did do? You made a profit, okay? So you take some of that profit and you could start upgrading. Look at that, going to level one, going to level two, going to level three, going to level four. At the very bottom, do you see what you paid? But then at the top, you see what you made, okay? Let's look at level five. They call this the sweet spot, baby. Why? Because a lot of good things happen at that level, okay? So you might have paid 10000 to get in it, but you leave with 30000 at the sweet spot. What I want you all to recognize is that there are, some of us are already in these levels. We're in level two, three, four, five, okay? Level six up to nine, look at the difference in the money value. You have enough profit to pay those amounts at the bottom. You just made it in the previous levels, but you are gonna get a return like what you see there, right? But oh, wait a minute, you get in the level nine, now you're talking about VIP now, very important person. And then you start to acquire the different levels of diamond, emerald, okay? Putting you on a different tier who knows? There may be bonuses for you up there somewhere, all right? But what if you come in, we all come in at starter at that $250 level, but guess what? Some people say, I don't want to just come in at no starter. I had one brother say, I want to come in at starter level one and level two. That is called the fast track. So if you're coming in with your $250, but you got more, you can pay $500 and join level one as well, making money on both levels at the same time, okay? So guess what? You're getting paid daily up in here. When people come to the club, guys, you get paid the same day. Not next week, not next month. You get paid the same day, okay? Now, you got that, that there's an annual fee of 149 and there's no monthly fees, so nobody's taking your money from you, right? And all 10 houses, guys, you get in level one, start at level one, level two, level three, all the way up to level nine, you will have brought in an additional $686,000, okay? That, and that might be modest because that's not even counting how you can make money over and over and over in every level, okay? And then if you are a producer, like you're really paid and you're in the club, you're going to get these level payouts that you see. But if you're a free member, as I mentioned before, you're going to get 10% of the payout of whatever they paid to get in that level, okay? Loving that money. Now, understanding these numbers here, guys, it's going gonna, it's gonna to shift your paradigm about life. This is showing someone in the club that made 10 Bitcoin. What do you think? You think that's equal to $10? No, 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 no. Look at the bottom. 10.22865 Bitcoin equals $197,320, okay? That's what 10 Bitcoins equals. So when you see this in your back office, you go press that button and look at them. They have 44 referrals. That means they weren't tripping about, oh, I only know two people. They just went telling the world. They might have told an Uber man, everybody, just how's your day? Oh, Bitcoin is great. Then they want to know what Bitcoin is, okay? Now, this is someone's back office in the club. Now, what that means is, remember I said, you can look at your statistics. Check this out. You see the 5,000, right? You do understand, I want to help you understand that that's one day in this club that they made the 5,000. And when you look at the green box, why don't we take a gander at the dates next to that? The 27th, the 28th, the 28th, the 28th. The tw they getting payouts. In these days, three payouts on the 28th, then the 29th, 29th, 31st. Like, you see what I mean? You can get payouts multiple in days. So the 5,000 just showing one payout, but the green box is showing several over uh, quite a few days, all right? 
Now, homie right here, I know you know who he is now, but this is what he said. We'll take what he said for right now. If you are born poor, it's not your fault. But if you died poor, that is your fault. All right, that could be kind of harsh now. You might have to drink some water when you take that down. But the reality is that we can be responsible for creating wealth that we don't have to struggle for, okay? So if we born poor, that's one thing, but we don't have to die poor, all right? So what's next, guys? You really just need to make a decision. You know what I mean? Like, don't get rid of the maybes on it. Make a decision. You're going to like it, love it, or you're going to want more of it. What you going to do? It's up to you. It's your, it's your call, right? You want to create a crypto wallet. If you don't have a crypto wallet right now, you need to get one so that you can start receiving money into it. Go ahead and join the club because you need a wallet, guys, before you can even join. Even if you want to be a free member, you got to have a wallet address, okay? Activate your membership. Decide what you got. $250, y'all can join as soon as we hang up, right? As soon as we get off this webinar. Activate your membership. And then you want to update your profile information, your payment information, and your beneficiary information inside of our system, okay? And make a list of everyone. Sometimes people pop in your head that you forgot about. You know you had a classroom full of folks in high school. Put them on a list, right? And then invite them to the next presentation so that they can learn just like you did tonight, all right? And then just start on your online university training, all of those levels that I talked about. Start going up the levels and opening the doors to you getting that financial education, all right? So, guys, it's your time to shine. I want to thank you for joining us. I am going to take a few questions from you. Um, we have like a 15-minute little opening for that. And get back with the person who told you to come here tonight because they can help you to get started with the company and help you answer questions that might need more one-on-one -on -one with you, okay? So welcome to the MLS Bitcoin Club, baby. Let me stop sharing so I can see your lovely faces. And hey, if you have a question, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go to where it says participants and I want you to click where it says raise hand. It's only if you have a question and I'll take 15 minutes worth of them before we go on. So if you have a question, go down to participant and click on raise hand. I think it's three dots also. Click on raise hand and then we will call you in order. All right. Before so, you pick your first question, let me let me add this. Good. I want all of you, all of you to go get an app on your phone. It's called Trust, T-R-U-S-T, -T, Trust Wallet, T-R-U-S-T. I want you to download that app on your phone. That is going to be the simplest place to actually get a Bitcoin wallet and an app and also able to purchase all kind of other Bitcoin with a credit card. It is, a, is called Trust. T, like I trust the United States or, you know, trust on your dollar, right? You got it? I don't trust the United States though, so I'm just saying it. I'm just telling you straight up, I don't. <laughs> Even though I fought for the United States, I don't trust it. But anyway, uh, Trust Wallet is an app. Download that app on your phone. And I would encourage you to do that to your family members as well. Download that app, T-R-U-S-T, -T, because that wallet, it allows you to purchase any kind of crypto to include Bitcoin with a credit card. They use Simplex and another one called Moon. But once you put the information in there, it stays in there. So anytime you want to go buy a coin, boom, it's real fast. Okay. So that's what I just want to give you. Go ahead. Go ahead uh, uh, okay. Sorry. Take it off. Awesome. And I did see Rosie B um, put some information in there about, um, I think, trust is banned in New York City. So not too sure about that. That's good, guys, that you research. You know what I'm saying? Because the crypto world changes fast in a lot because it's new, right? And it becomes more efficient. Half the stuff we talking about when I joined Bitcoin, it wasn't none of that. Wasn't no getting no Bitcoin from no cash app, getting no bit. You, we was going to Happy Liquor on 79th and uh, Cottage Grove in Chicago in the back to the Bitcoin ATM. And that was like the only thing. So All right, wait luckily- Let me add something else to this. Go ahead. So if your state is acting a fool, there's a thing you do online. In your phone, you can download what they call a VPN, a virtual private network. 
All right, you got bear, B-E-A-R, like tunnel bear. Another one's called touch, T-O-U-C-H. These are VPNs. You put that on your phone, and now you put yourself not in the United States, put yourself in Canada. So on your phone, you're listed in Canada. Guess what? You download the Trust app, you got no problem. Every time you go to your Trust app, you just make sure you're on your VPN, and you can download it. I trade not in the United States. I live in Georgia, but I trade out of Canada. I trade out of Spain because the, the, the trading platform is not authorized in the United States, and I don't use it. I put myself in Canada. I put my IP in Australia. You got it? Or Germany or France. So you can do the same thing with your phone. You do, you do not have to live with restrictions because your people... These controllers don't understand crypto. And so what they do, they keep you in a box. And that's the restriction. You're in a box. Get yourself out of the box. Back to you. I need y'all to, need y'all to write down what he just said. He said, you do not have to live with restrictions. I need you to write that down, baby. I need you to write it down. I, I raised my daughter telling her, don't nobody tell you no. Because if you want it, you go get it. That's And that's a different mentality, guys, than what we were raised with. So part of this is breaking the chains, you understand, that we have mentally to keep us from, you know, growing larger, expanding. So mm, you don't have to live a life with restrictions. I love that. So what I'm going to do first, and thank you for that, Wall Street. Thank you, Rosie, for putting that up. Um, I'm going to go to Cecilia first. Go ahead and unmute yourself. And um, yeah, let's wrap. Guys, when you unmute yourself, you're going to push the space bar on your computer, if you're doing looking through a computer, but if you're on the phone, you're going to press the window of your phone and unmute yourself. So, Cecilia Aiken, my darling, are you? Um, can you unmute yourself? Um, I think you can, but while you're figuring it out, I'm going to go to Samantha Dixon. Hi, Samantha. Go ahead and unmute yourself. There you go. Hello. Hi. <laughs> okay, so I'm I'm very very new to this. I just, I just today joined um, Rotating Hands. Excellent. So I, you know, I just paid the ninety nine dollars and the twenty five dollars for a position. Okay. So now this one forty nine and two fifty. That's something separate from Rotating Hands. Indeed. So my okay. darling. Um, this Bitcoin club, what I love about it is that it has a lot of different ways you can make cash flow, right? Mm -hmm. And so rotating hands, what you've done is one way. And mm -hmm. it's a it's a lower price point because it's like, like you said, I pay my $99, you get approved, then you pay your $25 to a person, and that's what that costs to start. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. But the MLS Bitcoin Club is what you saw this evening. And so you can pay okay. to you make it's a similar structure. But you mm -hmm. actually make money in a lot more ways and you can make a larger sum. Um, they're, they're both great. I say be in both of them. But, yep. Yeah. And whenever you make your money in rotating hands, you can actually make money there and then bring it back and become a part of the MLS Bitcoin Club, which is what you want to do, actually. And now it's affordable because it's only $399, girl. You've been making that. You might make that in two weeks. I don't know. You yeah. Know, so. And I do another question. I have a little bit of Bitcoin. I have okay. like $250 worth. Okay. So could I use like um, some of my Bitcoin to to um you know to pay this uh, what you call it membership fee for the MLS? You definitely could. What I would say though, if you have two fifty, you about to have some more in rotating hands in a minute. You go ahead and follow the system and bring folks. Okay. Um, what you. If you're on the $25 level now, you don't have to wait. You could go to the $50 wait, level. Yeah. Wait, can't wait. Yeah, hold on, Ken. Come listen. Anyway, <laughs> no, we're real. So what you can do is you you can literally, because you pay for the $25 level, there's uh -huh. a $50 level right after it. You got enough to go there. I would maybe go there and be making yeah. money in both of those places. And then, you know, let that Bitcoin accumulate, girl. Let it accumulate. Okay. And then when you feel you have a nice, you know, still got some Bitcoin and then you pay the money and you still good, you know, okay. you can, you can do that here, but yeah, I would say maybe do another level in rotating hands. It's up to you, you know? Okay. Yeah. Let it grow, girl. Let it grow. 
Okay. All right. Thank you. Appreciate you. All Thank right. You. Uh huh. Okay. Anybody yeah. else? Anybody else have a question? Let me see. Um, Cecilia, I see you open now. Hey, ma. Hi, good evening. Okay, I, my my computers are bugging out. They are fighting me every day. I'm having weird stuff going on. I think people are trying to hack me for my Bitcoin. I got to watch uh -oh. that. Uh -oh. Um, I had two questions. Now, one was about the annual membership dues. We used to be able to pay that in cash. Can we still pay our annual membership fees in cash? Yes, you can. Okay. My other question was about the trust wallet because I did download it the first night you said that it's truly decentralized and that you didn't have to go to through a KYC to purchase. But when I tried to do a purchase the first night to test a wallet, they were asking me all my information. So I just didn't buy anything from there. I just sent okay. something from Wait, so it's not trust wallet is asking you for the KYC. It is Simplex asking you for the KYC. It was actually Moon, the other one that you okay, said. Moon. Well, both of them will do it. Yeah, Moon will do okay. it, and then and then um, Simplex will do it. So, yes, you got to supply them the information for you to purchase Bitcoin. But to set the wallet up, which is trust, no, you don't have to give them new information. Even, yeah, if, you use, even if you use... Uh, uh, even if you use the Trezor... You can buy Bitcoin from Trezor, but, but mm. not, not from Trezor. They're going to connect you to, to Simplex, which means what? You still got to give them your information to buy the okay. Bitcoin. You got I was just trying to figure out how we could get around, you know, I want to be truly Bitcoin, you, know, you got to do that from, you can do that from going to an individual, or you're going to have to do that going through uh, what we call like gift cards. Mm. Like you can get some gift cards and then go do it and buy Bitcoin with a gift card. Or that's a, that's, I mean, that's a lot of work to do that. Um, but yeah, you could do it that way. Or you can buy Bitcoin from somebody else who's selling it, right? Like I used to do. I just sell Bitcoin to you. If I had it, I just, I, I just sell, but I don't sell Bitcoin anymore. I don't, no. Bitcoin is getting too big to sell it and give it away. What I mean, what I mean by that is, if you get to a point in Bitcoin where you are now having, let's just say you got one Bitcoin. Well, one Bitcoin is worth 37,000. What if you got five of them? You know, before when I bought Bitcoin at 486, remember? A year, what, three years ago, 486? Well, those same five Bitcoin today used to be worth 100,000. Now, those 10 Bitcoins today is worth $363,000. Five of them now is $182,000. You got an extra 82,000 for the same Bitcoin you already had. And that's 182 grand. Guys, you ain't, th this is, this is NFL money. Chandler, <laughs> right, Smith, right? You get some NFL money right now. You got, if I got, if you got 15 Bitcoin, they got people sitting on the bench in the NFL that's making five hundred thousand dollars to sit on the bench. Okay, now fifteen bit, fifteen Bitcoin is five hundred and forty-eight thousand dollars. You you on the same level as an NFL player? Did you do you understand what I'm telling you? <laughs> you, do you are you getting this? This is serious. You you are you want to become a millionaire because you understand what's going on. You are not. You're not standing in line to get the food. How many folks you saw thousands of people standing in line to get the food? They got carloads, cars, like five miles long in Texas, Atlanta, San Francisco, all the major cities. They got people lining up in cars, praying they got enough food until they get there. And you in his club, and you could, it's possible for you to make 15 Bitcoin in a matter of months, I believe this club is going to bring in 50,000 people because we got the answer to the crisis financially, not the, not the medical, but financially. You just got to get the word out. Mm -hmm. 15 Bitcoin, it is so easy to get one, get two. You know, it's going to be easy, man. Y'all got to, y'all just got to, you, you got to believe that this system is here for you. If you've been here for years, you already got three, four, five Bitcoin. You should by now. 
You should. Three, four, five Bitcoins. And just with three Bitcoins, oh my God, what are you talking about? A hundred thousand, hundred and nine thousand dollars just with three bitcoins, a hundred grand. That's that's crazy. I think it's just like it's unbelievable when you start looking up and you see seven digits behind your number, like seven, seven. And one of my trazars is 17, 17 bitcoin. Okay, just in one of my trazars, 17. How much is that, right? This very second, 600. And twenty-one thousand dollars. That's just in one. Now, guys, you gotta think this is this is serious. You you talking about something that most of us would never experience in our lifetime, and you are ahead of the curve because now the world is starting to catch on, and they are buying it up. And when they buy it up, I heard somebody put his comment in there about uh, USDT, which is Tether. It's got a court case against it. If, te if Tether gets a, a court case against it and they kill it, it don't matter. Bitcoin is still here. Bitcoin is Bitcoin's already been proven in the, in the courts in the United States that it is a commodity. They're not going against it. They want the technology. They want it. So no, Bitcoin is not in danger. Stop thinking that. Don't do not listen to a lot of people on YouTube. Because remember, two years ago, everybody called it a scam, right? Every not Wall Street. I didn't call it a scam. I did not. I said, guys, I don't care what they say. I took five Bitcoin and made a hundred grand out of it. The same five Bitcoin today is one hundred and eighty-two thousand. The same five Bitcoin is one hundred and eighty-two thousand. $675 right this very second. Now you think about that. They've been calling it a scam for two years. All of a sudden, now they want to come out and say, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and start getting this Bitcoin because this Bitcoin is a whole new, whole new. It's ain't nothing changed. What changed? You know what changed? You and I did. They said, damn, these people getting paid. These regular folks are getting paid. These regular folks are becoming millionaires. The transformation of wealth is upon us. What the hell are we going to do? Because they they ain't going back. They don't care about the jobs. They don't. They getting rich, and we keep telling them, no, it's a scam. It's a scam. It's a scam. But they getting richer and richer, and they buying Lamborghinis. They buying houses. They buying Bentleys. They they paying off all their bills. They credit going up. They getting out of the box. We had them in a box. We had them in a box. Pretty soon, you gonna say, "I don't need that damn job." What? I don't need that damn job. You you do if you got one hundred and eighty two thousand dollars with 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 uh, five Bitcoin. You telling me that you're going to make a decision to go to work tomorrow night, man, and you making what, $15 an hour, $40 an hour? You taking more, you you taking your wealth away by going to work. You should be trying to talk to people so you can get more Bitcoin. You see, you you spending your time working for them and they paying you peanuts when you could be making a whole lot more money because you now in the system. That's the difference. They are waking up to the fact that you are getting out the box. You getting out of the box. They can't con by you being in a box. They had complete control over us. You understand that? Mm -hmm. Complete control. Now you're getting out of the box. They can't control you. Why you think that big old thing in January 6th was all about? Make America great again. For who? For who it ain't that been great for the black folks? For who? Who? Who is? Who was great? Who great again? For who? They scared as hell. Cause what? We changing the damn concept of what's going on. We are changing the concept of America because you are becoming financially free. They can't. They feel threatened. Make America great for who? Yeah. Now we make it great for ourselves. Because that's what we learning. And that's what you got. That's the focus. 
financial education. It's your <laughs> duty to get somebody to help you though. It's your duty to reach back and bring somebody back up with you. Remember, I came back for you. It's your job to do it to them. You can't make all this money. Oh, I got 182,000. Then your neighbor in line trying to buy some food, try, not buy some food, go get in line and hope they give them some food. When you got the answer, say, look, you need to come over here. Let me show you what you need to do. Let's, let's call your family. Let's get them going in our system so they can start learning to start making Bitcoin. Remember I said last week, I said in the family banking system, we got to reach out to our family members. We got to start collecting the money from the families and put it in a pool so you can purchase Bitcoin together. Remember that? We got to do that. I didn't say that just to be saying it. We, we, we got to take this. We got to take this club to another level. It can't just be about you now. It's got to incorporate the family because they hurting. You're going to help them one way or another. They're going to be living in your damn house or you're going to be in their own house. You paying their rent. You, it's going to come down to that. I'm telling you right now. It's coming down to that. Uh, I'm struggling. I got a family right now. They're looking to come live with us. I can't. Nope. Can't do it. Can't live with me. I'm going to show you how to make some money, though. But you can't come live with me. I don't want you living with me. I don't want you living with me. The burden, I don't want your burden on me. I don't want nobody else's burden. Do you want somebody else's burden? Yes or no? No. I'm asking you, do you want somebody else's burden? So if you don't want nobody else's burden, what's your duty? To teach them how to make some money. To teach them how. So don't just say, nah, I'm going to show you how to make the money, though. I'm going to show you, teach you how to do it. Now, if you don't want to do it, that's your choice. And then I'm out of the picture. Because I gave you a choice. But if you say, hey, I want to learn how to do this. Come on, let me show you how to get this going. Let me get you squared away so you can get what? Get out of that line. Get here, Here's some cash flow coming in. Now you're not, not, eight, not, not, not only get an apartment, you're ready to go buy your house. You, you feel? I'm serious. Mm -hmm. This is real talk, y'all. I'm a 59-year-old person. I'm telling you right now, this is real talk. This is real talk. There's a whole lot of folks out here struggling. And they're trying to figure out another way to make some money. So you got to help them by showing them how to do it. But don't mm -hmm. take on their burden. That's not your story. Listen to Richard's Man in Babylon. He said that in the Richard's Man in Babylon. Y'all keep, I keep going back to that story. Is it your job to take on somebody else's burden? No. I don't want your burden. I got my own problems. I don't want your burden. So let's let's get it going. Go ahead, Asad. I'm sorry. All right. All right. So here you go, y'all. I'm I'm not gonna penalize y'all for Wall Street having that lovely speech. I'm gonna give you your minutes. The last two comments. I'm gonna give them to you. So we got Miss Smiles. Go ahead, Sister Dottie. What's up, baby? Hey, Asad. How are you? Okay. Uh, two things. Now on the rotating side, um, are we still gonna have our um, Bitcoin wallet there? Because I know we turned it over to Ethereum. And I did hear Wall Street said that we can still pay by cash and up to when, because it's almost time for some of us to renew. So I wasn't sure whether I'm supposed to like pay in Ethereum or pay cash. You, if you're paying your annual fees, it's the only time you can pay it is in cash. You can pay it in cash. Okay. You can pay it in cash. Okay. Okay, when it comes to that. Ethereum, we didn't go active yet. We're not active there yet. So once we get active, you will not be able to use cash, Bitcoin, okay. cash app. It would strictly be a Ethereum contract. The reason for that is because it's going to be automated, right? If we, if we go to something else, it's, it's, I can't automate it. So my whole job is to make, make rotating hands um, automation, complete automation, 100% automation, okay? Um, Bitcoin is a little bit more difficult because they keep closing down my accounts. If, if y'all remember, for the folks that used to be here a long time ago, we had the MLS Bitcoin Club was strictly a smart contract. Strictly. I didn't have to touch it. It went all through, got signed up, Bitcoin went out. I just looked back and then you was already on the board. The pin was already sent out. But they kept closing the, the accounts down. Why? They try to put me in a box. <laughs> we not saying in the box <laughs> okay there we go all right what other question you had thank that you it? that was great thanks for answering that about the cash that was good and the last person for tonight is going to be big al what's up big al 
Big L. <laughs> yep, just type tap the window of your phone screen, and I think you'll see. There you go. All right. All right. So, um, there. Why don't we turn it over to the Ethereum on the uh, rotate both, hands? Uh, yeah. The reason why we turn it. Okay. The reason why. Hold on. Let me put your phone on mute. Put it back on mute. So yeah, the reason why we're using Ethereum because we need we want two different we want two different contracts. Let me tell you why. Ethereum is rated number two in all of cryptocurrency. It is projected that one Ethereum would be somewhere close to eighty to a hundred thousand dollars. You got it. So we're gonna have all the special contracts that deals with finance. All these different projects that's going out there when it comes to um, these new things that's happening right now. They all use Ethereum that sits on their table. They may have a different coin to pay, but Ethereum, it sits underneath that. That's the foundation for all the other cryptos out there. So if it's, if it's Bitcoin, Bitcoin is not fast enough for the speed of transactions. Ethereum is. So Ethereum is, the, is what the tool they're using to build all these fast contracts in, right? So that's why you want Ethereum. And the payout is crazy because Ethereum used to be $2. If y'all remember way back in the day, Big Al, Big Al used to be with me way back in the day. We had Ethereum, Big Ben was 40, we got Ethereum at $49. $49 is now close to $1,200, right? So, and Ethereum could go to $80,000 a coin. You got it? So that's the power of Ethereum. That's why we're going with it, the smart contract which is Ethereum. That's the reason why we're going with it. We want to be diversified to a point. Bitcoin is on one side, Ethereum is on the other. We got the creme of the creme. We got everything we need to make us, to make you a millionaire for sure. You got it? It's that easy. And it's cheaper, right? It's cheaper for you to get. Plus, you're going to be learning about other cryptos to get as well, right? You're going to learn about other ones as well. You're going to learn about them. Okay, did I answer your question, uh, Big Al? We good? I mean, I mean, uh, when is going to turn over? When? Oh, when? Yeah. We're gonna. Uh, it's a possibility we may turn it. You got some background noise. We're gonna turn it over. Um, once we once we certify the smart contract, we think it is going to be two weeks. It may be a little bit faster, but the goal is two weeks. The goal is two weeks. Okay. We got to make sure that smart contract is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Come in activate you, receive the payment, send the payment off where it needs to go, place you in the matrix, and the person got their funds right from that smart contract. There's nothing that, that I or my admins got to do to, to, uh, to, for that whole payment structure to go through. That's what we're doing. So that's going to speed it up, right? It's going to speed it up. That's what we want, okay? We want a very fast transaction time. The only thing that when it comes to Bitcoin, and Ethereum, when the network is busy, this is what all you got to understand. When the network is busy, you probably noticed this, the Bitcoin, that the fee, the transaction fee, it goes up like crazy. It may go to $50, $70. So sometimes it says, hey, um, I got signed up, but I, 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 I didn't get my payment yet. Said, yeah, you got to wait because right now, to send you a payment is $76. We ain't sending you no payment that costs us $76. You got it? We're doing it. We got to wait. We got to let it pull down a little bit. Then the payment will go back to you. You got it? We can't We can't afford to do that. Do it that way. You got to let the network slow down, then go ahead and send it off. And it always do that, especially when Bitcoin is jumping to 40,000, 42,000. When we, when we broke 20 and it went to 20 to 25, you know how fast it did that? The network fees was $72 to send Bitcoin. $72 to send it because it did it almost in one day. You got it? So they, they, they do that to slow you down. Like, okay, do you really want to send this Bitcoin off? Or do you want to let it slow down a little bit? See, the, the, on, the only way they got to use to slow down the price of the transaction fee is to make sure less people are trying to get the Bitcoin. So they raise the price on the sending price, the transaction. So that way, you are you going to pay that much money? Most likely, no. What's going to happen? It's going to slow the network down. It's going to slow the network down, right? It's going to slow the transactions down because people ain't willing to spend the money. And then once the network slows down, 
Now, oh, the fees are back to normal, $3, $2, stuff like that. So that's that's what we want. Okay. Woo, woo, woo. Look, y'all, you see what kind of education we get? You could tell how official we are because we ain't tripping. We're not yelling. We're not even trying to convince you. We're just giving you the data. And for those of you who have questions about smart contracts, Ethereum, number one, do some of your own research, but then two, join a team so you could be in on the meetings where Wall Street is training us personally and you're growing your crypto knowledge. So I want to say thank you guys for coming tonight. This was a beautiful meeting. Be in sure, go ahead, Wall Street. Be show, before show. we go, I see that little child right there with Miss Dixon, that little yes. child right there. Yes. If you got children, it is not, it is not too early to get them a Bitcoin wallet. What, what do I mean? So you got kids, grandchildren, you, you can get them a wallet. Like I told my grandchildren for this Christmas, right? I said, no more toys, no more sneakers. I said, you getting stock in Bitcoin. Grandpa, I'm getting you stock. No more, no more. That's, it's over. That's done. Our job now is to prepare that generation for financial wealth. And so we got to do, even if we only get $10 worth of Bitcoin every month, every 20 days, every 30 days, if we only get $10, $15, you know how we used to do the, the grandmothers back in the day, used to get the Christmas club money, go to the bank and drop the money in the Christmas club. Well, guess what you got to start doing now? You got to start doing that for your children and get them a wallet, get you a Trezor and get an account set up for them. Like add, add another account and call this as, you know, grandbaby one, grandbaby two or grandbaby three and start adding $10 of Bitcoin in there. Every time you get paid some Bitcoin, you add it in there. And as Bitcoin continues to keep rising, let's say Bitcoin goes to a hundred grand by June, my own prediction. I believe Bitcoin is following the same pattern it did in 2017. The exact same pattern. Matter of fact, I saw that on the news the other day. They said Bitcoin is following the same pattern it did in 2017 when Bitcoin went from $1,000 to $20,000. This time we're going from $20,000 to $200,000. It was at $2,000 was a high print. It went to $20,000. Now we at 20 and now we going to what? To a 200,000. So if we do get $10 worth, $50 worth, $100 worth of Bitcoin for those children and Bitcoin goes to $100,000 by June, that money is already at maybe 2,000, 3,000, 4, 5,000 dollars and they only 2, 3, 4, 5 years old, 7, 10 years old. Some of them are going to be if it goes to 200,000 and you constantly keep putting a little bit of money in there all the time, what's going to happen to their accounts? They're going to have twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars in there. By the time they're 16, 17 years old, hell, they may have a hundred grand. Are they going to are they going to go work at McDonald's at a hundred thousand dollars in their account? I don't think so. I you you can't tell me they're going to they're going to work at McDonald's unless you got a daughter like me. I want to go experience what it means to go work at somebody. I said, do you really want to do that? <laughs> You, you want Miss Anna? <laughs> so that so the goal is to get their account set up now so that this gift that you're doing it keeps paying over and over and over. It's not too early to get it done. And it's best to do it now and don't let Bitcoin get to 100. I told you going to go to past 20, right? I said we're going to 20. I I said it. And I said, we're going to break that and we're going to go to, now I'm saying 200,000 by the end of the year. But I believe by June, we're going to be at 100K. Now, let me tell you why I'm saying this. We already hit 42,000. Not for, 42. Eight more thousand. We already had 50 and we're still in a month of January. <laughs> so how hard is it to have 100,000 by June? It's not going to be difficult at all. So what I'm saying to you, oh, my God, if you see what I see, if you understood what I see, you are so close to being a millionaire. You just got to, your commitment just got to get stronger. Your commitment, if you can make that commitment 
to, to grow your own teams, to be the leader that you are, because you, you come to the calls. You can start your own calls. You can start your own Zoom calls. You can start doing your own, your own tribe. You start building your own tribe, your team's going to be rocking. Do you understand what I'm saying? That means that you got more people signing up. You got more Bitcoin coming to you. You got more Ethereum coming to you. A bit Bitcoin and Ethereum, you're going to be knocking out a million dollars in a year. A y- one, one, one year, you just said, well, my life turned around. So what happened? Oh, you know, when you had the COVID-19, you remember COVID? I became a millionaire in the COVID. Like, Grandma, Grandpa, how you do that? You know, he's, you know, part of this club. We got into the crypto space. And now we, a year after COVID, two years after COVID, oh, yeah, we made three, four, five million dollars. Like, what? Without a job? What you sold? I ain't sell nothing. You ain't sell nothing. You made a million dollars? You ain't sell nothing. You didn't sell nothing. You converted your time, your energy, because this is what you got to understand. It's time and energy. Your time and your energy to talk to other people. And by you doing that, that energy converted into what? Crypto. And that crypto paid you like nothing else in history. I don't care how many books you wrote. Don't matter. I don't care how many cars you work on. It don't matter. I don't care how many homes you sold. We still going to beat you. I don't care if you was a top seller in New York City, California, we still going to make more money than you. I don't care if you're a surgeon, we're going to make more money than you. I don't care if you are the top lawyer in the country, we're going to make more money than you. What? Are you serious? Yes. The common folks, no degrees, don't need no degree, and going to make more money than all of them. Because what? Because you are open to new ideas in this crypto space. That mm. made the difference. While everybody else is saying no, you said, well, damn, let me try this. Let me see. And look what happened. Mm. You're in the right place. I'm telling you right now, you, you think I got any fear about Bitcoin going to zero? No. There's no, they, I, I've seen the worst that it can happen. It went to 20000 it came all the way back down to $3,500. When did it go to $3,500? This last year in March. March of last year, it went to $3,500. People were scared. Getting out. I was buying. I was, I was buying more. What? And look what happened now. Oh, my goodness. Are you serious? Now what's going on? $3 million, $5 million, seven, You're talking about multimillionaires? You it? You it? You are it. Just get committed. Mm. Just get committed. I promise you. Get committed. I'm, I'm, I, yo, I, I can talk all night. Go ahead. Yo, yo no. I know. You know how we do. I want to close y'all with somebody that's very special to this club. Her name is Anna Silas. Anna is 11 years old. Anna, you out there? You yeah. out there? Hi, yeah. Anna. Hi. I want you to just tell. I want to close this out telling them how you got involved in this club. Start from the beginning, from the closet, all right? Okay. Let them know. Go ahead and tell your story, girl. Just how we're going to end tonight. Go ahead. Okay, so I'm Anna, and my mom joined the Rotating Hands MLS club, and I had my money in the closet. I saved it up for a while, and then I saw her money growing, and I was like, oh, that's cool, Mom. My money, I've had it in the closet for a while, and it's barely growing in here. So I got in the MLS club, I mean, just in the rotating hands. And within 24 hours, I made $100. And then a few days later, I got in the $50 level, and I made, like, over 500 by now, probably. And I might not be able to get a job at, like, Walmart, but I could still be making just as much money. Oh my God! Go, girl! Go, on, girl! Go, on. Anna! Anna, how much did you start with? How much money did you have in your closet, Anna? Thirty-five, thirty-five dollars. So I paid the ten-dollar fee and all that, and my money has just been going up every day. So proud every day, of you. Every day. 
Oh my goodness, I'm so proud of you. That's, that's the future. That's what we talk about. I couldn't resist right it. Now. I say, fine, Anna, because y'all that's sitting out there as adults and you talking about you can't find people, I'm going to close with this. Anna, tell them who's in your structure. Well, how? Who's in your house that paid you that money? Come on, talk about it. Leah is seven and my nephew Drew is in it. He's two, going to be three in three months. And Isaiah is three, and his little brother mm -hmm. is one. Look, 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 look. Friend, hey. Tell them you told people put their kids and grandkids. Mm -hmm. And it's good for families. You can put the kids, grandkids, all that. And See? Thank look at the little you. boy up there. I am so proud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am so proud. Thank you, Anna, so much, y'all. I couldn't resist having oh. y'all hear that. That is and our then, future. Go ahead, baby. And when I'm old enough to get my license, I can buy a car and my license in cash. Oh, <laughs> doing that, nothing. You go, girl. You're going to be buying it in Bitcoin, baby. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So you guys get rid of your fear. I want y'all to see that the solution is here. And even somebody as young as 11 can see how easily you can increase your cash flow. So thank y'all for being here tonight. I love you. Thank you, Denise, for sharing your daughter with us. We love you, Anna. We love you, Wall Street. Thank you for creating the vehicle. I tell y'all this. Look, God told Noah to build the ark, and he told Wall Street to build this club. And what Noah have to do, get two by two. What you got to do here, get two by two. That's all I'm going to say. Peace out, and let's build this. song, everybody. Peace. Listen to the words That's of the it. song. Listen to the words, because they mean something. <laughs> Listen to these words. Guys, I appreciate you coming on tonight. Do you know the new way for your money to go? They're talking about a bank, bank, or stir up market. Right, thank you. Good night. Here's what we're saying. The foundation we're laying. It's all things of money. Digital currency is changing the world. A way to even the playing field. How will the people do it? So cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency. Changing how the world does business. Asking the less system how to get in on this. Send money around the world almost free. We don't need our banks for our mission, you see. Tell your friends about MLS system. Get a raise of financial wisdom. Spreading like a wildfire all over the world. Don't get the doubt, y'all, what it's all about. Just pennies, thousands of dollars we want you. A worldwide currency, only if you knew well. MLS system is making it happen. Open your account and get tapping. Digital currency is an emerging technology. A way to up your financial psychology. It's money you can spend. Let it grow exponentially before you dip in. It's called cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency. Changing how the world does business. Just make sure you get in on this. Send money around the world, almost free. We don't need a base for a mission, you see. Tell your friends about MLS system. Get a waste of financial wisdom. Countries around the world are jumping in. Creating ways to ride the tree. This is lining up to accept Bitcoin. Soon every store will jump. In LS system to get your coins. Get in the mix, learn the tricks. Big quiz of bass in the dark. 21. Go in LS system to have some fun. Cryptocurrency, changing how the world does business. Good night, everybody. Awesome. Have a good one. Peace. Thanks, everybody. Peace.